Behind the Law, the official podcast of West Tigers. Well, hello and welcome to episode 57 of Behind the Raw, the official podcast of West Tigers, where we get to learn more about the people and the stories behind this great club. Behind the Raw is proudly sponsored by PWA, that is Pro Wrestling Australia. Now, on this week's episode of Behind the Raw, we chat to our NRLW co-captains ahead of the 2024 uh, Telstra Women's Premiership, which kicks off in just under three weeks now. Uh, these two ladies, they have actually appeared on this uh, on this set before four, uh, but never have they been here on the couch uh, together. So it's a very warm welcome to BTR, to West Tigers player, NRLW player number one, Botil Vetti Welsh, and West Tigers NRLW player number 11, Kezi Apps. Welcome, girls. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Great, Exciting to, have times. <laughs> Great to have you back. Great to have you back together. Um, so Bo Till, she made a welcome return uh, from injury last year to play a very big part in our uh, very first season in the NRLW competition. She's also played NRLW with the Roosters, the Dragons and the Eels. She's worn, uh, she's played with New South Wales in origin. She's also worn the green and gold and played uh, with the Maori All-Stars. Uh, Kezi Apps, well, she is one of, if not the most recognised faces in the NRL. Um, she's NRLW. She's played more Origin games than any other player. Uh, 15 games for the Gillaroos. Correct me if I'm wrong with any of this stuff, Kez, won't you? Um, and again, like Boat Hill, not just a key part of the NRLW team here at West Tigers, but also a key part of uh, West Tigers community team, because both of you are doing a whole heap of work under the new banner, if you like, to of um, West Tigers in power. Just, can we jump into that first of all, before we even chat footy and other, we'll have a bit of fun as well. Um, the West Tigers in power new program. It's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, it is really exciting. It's something that um, it's been, uh, Sean's been working on for a little while now. And yeah, just a new um, program uh, where there's three different programs mm. under um, the West Tigers in power. So we're in the middle of um, launching that with different schools uh, across our catchment. And yeah, it's really exciting times ahead for, for community. Busy, hey, busy juggling footy, work, <laughs> the whole lot. Social life, if you can as well. <laughs> no social life. No. Social life. We're Footy pretty is our social life. Yeah, we're pretty <laughs> lucky though that we do get to work mm. in community and work part of the club as well as obviously play for the club. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, it is hard it's a nice to... balance. It is a nice balance. It is hard to find a bit of social life. But yeah, as Bo said, our footy life is sort of our social life. So we yeah, love hanging yeah. out with our friends and playing footy. S so uh, if you don't remember how this works, hasn't changed much since you were last on last year, I think... It, it, might have been you, you jumped in here um we'll have a set of six get to know a bit more about you two ladies uh we'll talk a bit of footy we've also got questions from the crowd backed by popular demand for this episode sweet we've got some saucy questions coming well up. there are a couple <laughs> well, it's all just marry me Kezi. i love you <laughs> there were a couple of marry me Kezies. <laughs> and then at the back end so this is new for this season we have turnbuckle time do we, we have, have what, sorry? Abs absolutely. What is that? Glad you asked, Kez. Turnbuckle time. You both get up on the top ropes, okay? You're going to launch into a quick quiz. Oh, yeah, I love oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like okay. PWA ropes yeah, off. off the yes. Ropes, the term who was your favourite WWE star? Oh, sorry, WWE. Pushes. Probably The Rock, I think. Ooh, who yeah. was yours, Kez? Yeah, definitely The Rock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mine was John Cena. Johnny Cena. Why back, though? Because I'm a lot older than you. Um, yeah. Much Andre older. the Giant. I went and watched him at Horden Pavilion. Oh, yeah? Well, that, yeah, yo. That was, yo. About, <laughs> that was in the 80s, I think it was. <laughs> Wow. Stand by too, because I was chatting to the boys at, uh, this is going a bit off track, Sorry. at Pro Wrestling Australia, because they're at Campbelltown, they're based. Your first home game, first game of the season is at Campbelltown uh, against the Raiders on 28th of July. We might in the week leading up to that, perhaps get Pro Wrestling Australia involved and do a little bit of a... Cross, would you girls be yeah, keen to jump in the ring? Yeah. ring? I wanted to jump in the ring last say, year, but I was boom, injured. There you go. Slam me into a table off Keithy the Galloway, top rope. Keithy Galloway wants to do it. And now I've got two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Brilliant. They come and joined us for our team photo. Yeah, they all fun. came in their outfits. It was so cool. How cool. If they've got right. outfits for us to dress yeah. up into. Mad Monday, be that sick. is what I'm wearing. No, not for Mad Monday. This is like legit ahead of the first home game. If you want to dress up in a Mad Monday, you can. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Lock that in. Right. <laughs> um, what have you just got ourselves into? Well, <laughs> this could go anywhere, this, this show. Now, just be uh, before we dive into the podcast, a, a fair bit of club news about tough loss uh, at Leichhardt for the NRL team, 40 to 28 to the storm, down, I think it was 16 12 at half time. Really good atmosphere at Leichhardt. You guys were there as well, obviously, in a work capacity as, as well as watching the game. Loads of kids. From the Balmain district, which was really nice to see. That was our second edition of the um, the Junior League uh, appreciation round. Um, another sin bin doesn't help too. I think they scored two tries when Solomon Tape was uh, in the bin. Anyway, we roll on uh, Friday night up against the Sharks on Friday night at Shark Park. We beat them in round three, so I'm sure they're going to be hungry to uh, to get some revenge in Team News for Friday's game. Couple of changes to the back line. So Justin Olam, he's pulled up a, a bit sore with that ongoing knee issue. Um, so he will again be rested. Um, Fatape will shift into the centres. Alex Lobb will make his return. Um, he uh, hasn't played since in NRL since round 14 down there against the Dragons in Wollongong. And then he uh, got that head knock the following week leading up to the Titans game. So uh, great to see uh, Lobb start back on deck. Uh, in other NRL uh, news, uh, Luke Lalili, he's been elevated to our top 30 squad. That was, yeah, with the top, with the June 30 cutoff. So that happened right. last week. So cool. well done to Luke. And of course, Luke and Kit, um, they are both on NRL top 30 contracts for next year and, um, and the year after as well, 25 and 26. New South Wales Cup, 32-24. That lost to Newtown Jets last weekend at Henson Park, uh, down 20-6 at half time. Uh, we did fight back, scoring four second-half tries, but not quite good enough. This weekend, we're up against the Roosters in the New South Wales Cup. That's a 3 o'clock kickoff on Sunday at Wenny Park, if you uh, can get along to that. Jersey flag there also at Wenny Park on Sunday. They're coming off that loss to the Sharks last weekend, 2016. Um so, yeah, that's their third straight loss for our flag boys. That's a one fifteen kickoff, by the way, on Sunday uh, against the Roosters, again at Wentworth Park. Our Harvey Norman women's team, they played their very first match of the competition last weekend. Uh, 24-18 loss to the Sharks at Henson Park. Um, did you guys get along yeah. to that? A lot of our NRLW girls were playing, and it's hard to – it's a bit of a mix and match of, of girls coming together. Good first hit out, although we lost – yeah, or there's a, some really good signs, yeah. um, obviously, and a few little patches there that the girls, um, yeah, let slip away. But, yeah, it was a good little hit out for the girls. And yeah. um, we've got another trial match this weekend, which I'm really excited about. So the NRLW girls have got your trial this weekend against the Broncos at Suncorp? Correct. Will this be a NRL, NRL Harvey girls have got a game as well this weekend? So uh, Broncos, Proper. that'll be there. NRLW outfit as well? Yeah. So, yeah, the Harvey Norman has started their season. Yeah. So that was their first round one for that. Um, and now we've, we're going into our first trial match before our NRLW season yeah, starts. Yeah, yeah, so. I guess what I was asking, so quite a few girls played in Harvey yep. last weekend. Will some of those girls then play with NRLW yep. this weekend? Correct. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, good luck with that. Thanks, excited. Good luck with that. Yeah, first trial. And that'll be it, huh? Yep. Straight on to Until it before that. round one. One and done. Yep. All right. Great, great. Just on the Harvey team, so they are in action against Illawarra Steelers. That's this weekend. That's down there in Wollongong uh, at Collegians, I think it's called. So good luck to our Harvey Norman women's team uh, in Wollongong this weekend. All righty. Um, let's kick off, shall we, with uh, the set of six, okay? Uh, it is your very first game as West Tigers NRLW co-captains, okay, um, in the Telstra Women's Premiership. It's round one. It is last season. It's against Parramatta Eels. You remember the day. It's a very sunny Sunday afternoon, 23rd of July. The referee is Rochelle Tamarua. I think I pronounced that correct. All right. Well, there is the whistle. Do you hear that? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Good. All right. <laughs> Kez, you first, Kez. Uh, what, do you, what do you remember most about that very first game for West Tigers? In I Arizona? remember winning. That was right, huh? uh, the best feeling ever, especially our first hit out. And I think of us, we were really disappointed in our trial match. I think we didn't obviously play that well in our trial match. So for us mm. to come out 
um, and have a performance like we did. I just remember coming off and just being Pumped. so proud of everybody. And, yeah, it was just such a buzz. It was the best yeah. feeling to win our first round match. It was awesome. And for you, Bo, it must have been extra special. Because yeah, first yeah. try scorer for, for West first Tigers. First game in 18 months as well. That was a, Coming yeah, off was the back of that. my ACL. So, yeah, it was awesome. I had heaps of family there. The club was all there to mm. celebrate us. And um, we had everyone in the sheds afterwards celebrating the win, which was awesome. It was epic, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you go and have a little couple of shandies, couple of sherbets afterwards? Like the no, very no, first I week? Well, we so. went upstairs. My fam- my dad was yeah. wasted upstairs. They, <laughs> was he? They had sussed out like a big corporate box for all the family. So oh, they found the right box? Yeah, my yeah, they were straight in. And um, <laughs> yeah, even my le- little nephews think that's how you're supposed to watch footy now is in the VIP section where they, they oh, got yeah. ice cream and um, pizzas oh, well, yeah. poured out to them. So okay, that's, so what, this that's is how all it happens. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come back. So, to so they're going to come to every footy match. Yeah, they're going to come to every game. Like, where are we sitting? Where's the pizza? Just find Richo's account. Yeah. Yeah. Question three. Um, so away from, well, I guess it's three and four. Away from footy, what do you girls like to do? Kez, what, what are your other interests? Um, I know you're footy heads. Yeah. But it's got- hard to find that balance. But for me, I love helping out in the media side of things yeah. and helping out taking photos um, on like when the boys train and stuff. Oh, so you were out there today taking yeah, some it was, photos. Yeah, the- it was. Yeah, really fun. Um, and I also like playing a bit of golf. So yeah. um, actually, if there's any yeah. golf courses locally that <laughs> I can come on, that would be lovely. Are you, are you seeking a free membership? Not a free membership. Oh. I just want to know a place that's quiet well, and there's not too many people that I can just go and have a nice casual hit. Um, any other girls in team like a bit of golf? Um, I will find a couple. Yeah. Yeah. To come with me because I don't group? really want to go. I go all right, but I'm not like the best. Short but, or long game? Um, long game. Mm. Yeah. My short. You... I'm, I'm a bad pitcher. Like a good I putter. Can't pitch either. I think pitching is my worst. I can't but putt. um, and I love just right. going like towards yeah. the water, like towards the beach. Your balls like going towards the water? No, sorry, separate. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, I'm separate like golf. from golf. <laughs> from golf. Okay, my On balls do course. find <laughs> do find the water yeah. a little bit, but um, yeah, separate from golf. Like I beach, like going yeah. towards the beach. Me yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bo, um, away from footy, I like to do nothing at all. Yeah. I'm like kids though. I love the beach, love the mm. outdoors, sun, sunsets, sunrises is my thing. Um, and just, yeah, like getting sunset away from- Sunset or sunrise, which do you prefer? Um, sunrise, cause it's when the morning, when the day. Are you a morning bird? No, but for sunrise You've I been, will you be. You do really well. Actually, You've been yeah, really I've been well. um, coming in early here to do heaps of off feet, just so I can- um, Is it office work? Off feet? No, off feet conditioning, like, She's been oh. training. In yeah, in training. Yeah. Oh, okay. Off, <laughs> off it, sorry. <laughs> no, she's been coming before work, so she's been doing yeah. working really hard behind the scenes. Well, not on you. Yeah. yeah, need it. But the coaches are seeing that stuff. Um, right? Not our coaches. No. Our coaches aren't there. But Benji and them are in there when they I'm in there. Yeah, they, they can vouch for you have been in doing that yeah. extras. Yeah. yeah. Good on you. Thanks. Um, this isn't down here, but I thought I might just ask you something a bit off the cuff. If you could tell me something that maybe West Tigers fans and, and – me, we don't know about you. Anything? Oh, you go first. You've got a good um, My one was that 13 is my lucky number. I was born on... Lucky Black number 13. Yeah, that's my lucky number. Um, I was born on the 13th of September, born on a Black Friday. Oh. And I was born at 10, 13 a.m. And I weighed no 10 pound 13. I was a big baby. No way. What's that study of numbers? What's that numero- Um Horoscope, no. I <laughs> don't oh, know, but wow. Maths. No, oh, study of number. <laughs> I think it's numerology. Numerology. Is it? Tommy looked that now. up. Yeah. What about that? Yeah. So yeah. 13 is my favourite number and lucky number. isn't it? Yeah. Kez, what was something about you that we don't know? A um, few things, but one of them. <laughs> Show us your whistle. <laughs> I can whistle and hum at the same time. No, impossible. You try it's it. Wait, you, I can't do it if I'm smiling, so it's really hard because well, I always we smile. Won't look. Don't, we won't don't look. look at me. Um, don't smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Okay. No, nah, she can't. No, I see. can, I can. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> One more. Okay, I've got this. Oh, I'm not looking. Okay. <laughs> Bo. Oh. Guys, these it. are all being silly. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can't do I it. I can do it, but I'm just, it's no, a hard in this environment, but I'll video. Pretend no one's here. Okay, it's hard no when everyone's here. Okay. 
There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, like I can also whistle crooked. Hmm? Okay. I can whistle crooked. My hole is a How's bit. one whistle diff- crooked? I think I'm going to like a little bit like crooked. not okay in Shall my lips. Oh, dear. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> your lip? Hey, no, wow. that's what I mean. I don't think it's well, like you, something ladies, to be too I'm glad I asked that question. Something we didn't know about you. Mm, so, but it's hard to do when you, you smile. You try it. Everyone at home has to try it. Oh, I'll ditch some of those other questions. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, last tackle. Arms oh, in yeah. the air. Question six. Uh, okay. There's no one there. Oh, can we have one more? Can we have seven? Yeah. Six and a okay, half. Which players... Both of you, which players, so current or former, both NRL and NRLW, have you admired most? So a boy and a girl, NRL, NRLW, current or retired, have you most admired? I think RTS is my favourite. He's been my favourite player for Rog, ages. okay, Rog yeah. gets in. And girl? Girl, um... Kez, obviously, has oh, don't done it all. No, no, yeah, go um, on. I, my friend Nita, she's one yeah. of my best mates. I think she's super inspiring. She's a mum and does some incredible things on and off the field. So, yeah, she's probably biased being my favourite. Okay. But yeah. then also when I play against her, I try my best to, like, f*** her off. So yeah. she's rattled. Yeah, good. Well, hey, you leave the friendship at the door. Yeah, exactly. Once you cross, cross that, that phone, yeah, yeah, enemies. Kez, boy and girl. Most admired. Most admired. Um, boy, probably. I reckon Boyd Cordner would be somewhat like a boy part that I admire. Just his mm, game and yeah. how he carried himself yeah. on the field. I feel like I'm was very similar in my attributes. Yeah. And taking like those hard carries, um, and just how he presents himself off the field as well. Girl, I reckon I always say Ruan. Mm. Ruan Sims. She's done so much for for our game, mm. and uh, again, how she leads and um, mm. how she can motivate you is, yeah, someone I've never come across. So I think mm. Ru. Yeah, good choices, both of them. Right. Question seven. I think this is right. Favorite food, favorite movie, and favorite holiday destination. Ooh. Food, movie, holiday destination. Food. I like so I love watermelons. Okay, perfect. Watermelon's my favorite. Food. Favorite. We'll come back. Food. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was going. Sorry. <laughs> food. Favorite food. Um, I love any food to be honest. I'm a foodie. Can you eat anything? Yeah, I, except for chili. Like I'm not a chili Don't person. Like chili. No, anything chili, spicy. Nah. Um, I love like pastas and pizza. Pizza, pasta. Yeah. Italian. Italiana. With a drop of red. But I also like Mexican. Food, taco Tuesday, and with the taco Tuesday, taco Tuesday yeah, home, the kids love easy. Yeah, Not sorry, good for you. Yeah, I said, where, where we arrive on? Uh, Pasta and pizza, mm-hmm. and Mexican. Yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah. <laughs> movie, movie. I've got I got a couple of favorite movies, but my top two. One is Avatar, the blue one. It's my really? favorite. Yeah, the Avatar, and then the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. The ho- every wow. single one, other than this new one, is a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I'm not on okay. that. That's your genre. But yeah, I love. I I'm gonna if I have a kid, it's gonna be called Caesar. You know Caesar? Like salad? No, no. Caesar, the main monkey on the movie. I haven't, I haven't seen. That. I haven't seen. He that. can speak English. True. Yep. You know it's not real. Who knows? They're big, aren't they? The avatars. Avatar. Yep. Mm. Avatars, yeah. Who's talking about? I'm talking about oh, Caesar. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Get them mixed up. Yeah, okay. I love Avatar too. You like? Yeah, yeah. I don't. That's not my go. But you, you don't know. like Avatar? Avatar's the best. Yeah, really. You, have you yeah. watched it? Not really. Well, we we'll get you a can't judge it. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Yours? You need to save a lot, a lot of time. It's yeah, like it's three like hour movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's very long. I haven't got a social. Worth it though. Yeah. True. Oh, there you you know, go. Or a message. You know how it works. Yeah. Movie. Um, for me, I like a couple as well. Um, I like like dodgeball. Yeah. Wedding crashes. Yeah. Like those stepbrothers, like those type of movies. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very different. Mm-hmm. Holiday destination. Ooh. Somewhere you've been or you'd like to go. I went to Bali last year and that is so good. So cheap. The food was so mean and everything was just so cheap and you can buy fake things and look so flash and like yeah. not lose too much money. It's Bali, <laughs> but I also really want to go to Japan. Okay. It's on my bucket list. Okay. Kids. Um, a holiday destination I would love to go to is the Maldives. Mm. Yeah. Just go there. 
or I'm you can eat. You, you dive in the Maldives, right? Yeah, the water's beautiful. You stay in these little crystal clear bungalows. Those, yeah, I don't know on the are, water, and they've got your own. Yeah, I'd love to go there. Beautiful. On my are we list. sponsored by like a <laughs> flight center or something? No, we're not. I don't. Aren't think. We? We've got that cruise. Well, that's going to be a long, all long ride. To you well take us. Can you take us to <laughs> all can occasion you cruises? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Come on, all can. occasion cruises, take us there. We can ask the boys, um, the Elias boys, if if that will go as far as Maldives, but I don't think it will. Yeah, I think yeah. it's well, even go to Manly, in, in yeah. land waters, yeah. harbour and stuff. Mm. It was nice. Though, the, the launch, yeah. the launch <laughs> last week. Go to Manly, week. same thing. Yeah, the launch was good last week. Tables, ladders, chairs. PWA Black Label takes over the Factory Theatre Marrickville on Friday, 2nd of August. Featuring a six wrestler, table ladders, chairs match. Get your tickets now on prowrestlingaustralia.com.au. Righto, um, bit of footy chat then. We're running short of time. I knew this would probably happen. Um, so, Kez, you pulled on the Sky Blue jersey. It was, I think it was way back in 2014. Um, you've got on to play so many more games for New South Wales. Are you surprised or could you see back then, fast forward 10 years, that the game would have grown as fast, as rapidly, the women's game that it has? Uh, oh, oh, yes and no. Like obviously playing and seeing um, how much passion all the girls had and, you know, what they had to sacrifice and all the hard work they had to put in just to play the game. Um, yes, I could, but to see it fast track probably to where it is now, probably not. And just to see the support that we have around the game and how many more females are playing the sport, not only obviously tackle, but, but league tag as well. And I think league tag has definitely helped the growth dramatically yep. for, yep. for our game. Um, but yeah, it's just been an amazing 10 years and to see how fast it has grown and how many females are playing the sport and, you know, having mm. NRLW, having three game origin series. Um, yeah, it's unbelievable to mm. see where it's, where it was and to where it is now. Yeah. We've got record viewing audiences on, on television. I think I read something last week where the origin three, which you were part of, it achieved in excess of a million viewers on free to air. And I think it was double, um, the Wallabies game last weekend. So that just, and also sell out crowds, mm. Bo, you, and, and you talk about Oz tag. Um, then there's girls coming from touch footy yeah. and then I guess some are coming from, from union sevens as well. That's pretty much where they're coming from. What do you reckon, Bo? Why is it, what do you see as the one or two things about the women's game that has made it so successful in such a short space of time? Um, the exposure probably, I would say, I think, um, clubs are doing really good um, things behind the scenes was making sure that there's enough exposure or if it's like the intimate kind of media stuff that goes on um, amongst clubs to show how fun it is to be an NRLW mm. player, I guess. Mm. Um, and I think once you are an athlete for a long time and you live as a full-time athlete like the rugby girls have been, mm. they've been traveling the world and it's um, done all great things in that way to be able to come back and fall onto an NRLW contract where you're a star of the country is pretty mm. massive. I think they do great things in the Olympics, but they still don't get the exposure that they probably deserve um, mm. on those levels. So to be able to be in an NRLW comp where they kind of get a little bit more exposure is pretty cool. It's got a long way to go, obviously. Mm. And, and you know, the the, the dream destination for, for you guys and for the game is that all girls playing in NRLW can be full-time professionals, right? At the moment, most are juggling work and some are mums and, it's really difficult. When do you think that that day might come, Kez? 2027. Yep. I think when our next CBA yep. agreement is, and I think that's when it is, um, and there'll be probably another mm. four more teams, or I'm not sure too much, to be mm. honest, uh, will come into it. So the, the comp will be longer. Mm. Um, yeah. So once that all happens, I feel like it'll be – the, yeah, there'll be girls full time from from that, and the World Cups in twenty twenty six as well. So yeah. I think that'll be a massive change in the women's game. You'll see another spike and more change um, mm. the following year. Um, yeah, so I think in twenty twenty seven there'll be more yeah. professional. Because as it stands now, I mean, you guys tell me what a typical working week looks like for you guys as NRLW players, and in terms of how many sessions you might have, and what times the other girls are working, they come in. Take us through what a I guess, it, and our listeners and viewers, a typical week looks like. 
in I pre-season. We're, we're very lucky because we work for the club that our life isn't balanced. But oh, like, yeah. we're not driving from a different job. We're not having to ask for earlier no. um, early leave because we're already here. And um, but yeah, we're Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And then if Origin's on, it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's big days and we're from four till about eight o'clock at night. Okay, so so the girls are arriving and I've seen them. So I'm not saying I don't know this. I've seen the girls come in about about four o'clock. Yeah, a little bit earlier because we what, kick off. the other job? Yeah, kick off at four. So you sh like should be here by quarter past three at least. So, um, so your field work though, because there's no lights here at the Zurich Centre. Yeah. But you are training until it gets dark. Until it gets dark. Yeah. Um, if the fields, because the winter's been yeah. terrible, they've yeah. closed, been closing yeah, all the <laughs> fields. So we've been out here until the sun goes down and then we've got to come back inside. So, yeah, we're typically on the field from like 4 to 5.30, even to 4 to 6. Yeah. yeah. And then we're back in to do gym and everything else. So, yeah, and then that's if obviously we work here. So we're mm. from, say, 9 till 4, 9 till 3, and then we – Work from, oh, we train from four to eight, eight, have a shower, try and recover, have something to eat. You're at home at like nine, nine thirty, sleep and get up home. and do it. Yeah, <laughs> literally. You have a yeah. house just to sleep in. You don't actually do anything in there. Yeah. But some girls, like we've got a bunch of girls that live in Cameltown, which is an hour yeah. and a bit mm. traveling here. Add so they then, ha they have to be here by quarter past three. They have to leave work by say two. Mm. They would have to start work to get a decent amount of pay at what say seven, even earlier than that. Yeah. So that'd be work seven till three or seven till two, get here, work our uh, train from four till eight, get home right, at ten o'clock, yeah. and, and then go to sleep and do it Sweet all over dreams. again. And if you have a mum like P's a mum, Pauline's yeah. a mum, she's got two young fellas that she's got to try and juggle their sport, as well yeah. as her own job, as well as training. So there's a lot of sacrifices and it like like massive shout out to all the mums in the NRLW that have to juggle um, life as a mum and a full-time job as well as chase the dream of being an NRLW player. So, mm. yeah, I think it's crazy because every player is different from the other. Mm. So it's cool. It's cool, but it's also very hard to try and be a super athlete and have all your life put together pretty mm. much. Be it the, We are expected to be exactly where the boys are skill wise, fitness wise, physicality wise, but then we also have to juggle Everything another else. ten hours of our day to make sure we have a life and can sustain what we do. That's why there I have so much respect for each and every like yeah. NRLW yeah, yeah. player because there's so much that mm. goes into being an athlete and to try and be we tr we actually are trying to be professional mm. athletes, mm. like full time athletes when we're actually not, if that makes sense. Mm. And then as well as chasing the dream of NRLW players, we're also female. So we don't want to just live our, our life over footy. People want to have families and you've only got a certain amount of time well, to be an athlete. To to. Yeah, but we also want to live as an NRLW player for yeah. the rest of our lives. So <laughs> yeah. what do you do? Do you go and have babies or do you just try and be an athlete well, and then wait until you. you're old? Oh, I can't answer that for exactly. you, but I can say. You wait say, till you're old. I can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking from experience. <laughs> yeah, I can say, you know, like I think we probably – take it for granted so yeah. that's wonderful insight what you've just just you know described then it's a real mix of girls with all different types of responsibilities yeah. and you're all expected to achieve that same sort of standard as the nrl yeah and yeah. and it's like a lot of people obviously watch us play and they only judge us for that 70 minutes that we play where there's so much that happens or that could have happened mm. during the week in the lead up to that 70 minutes and reasons why, mm. you know, performance and things like that might be hindered. But, you know, there's so much more that will go on behind the scenes that could affect how we play. We're heading in the right direction though. Absolutely. Yeah. A few new faces. How does this year's squad compare to last year's, would you say? Good. Yeah. I think the new girls have settled in well. I think Noddy and the recruitment team have done a great job at recruiting good people. Everyone's such a cool person. Like the vibes are high. Everyone's settled in. No one feels too uncomfortable or shy. Like I think everyone is um, flourishing in their own mm. personalities. Everyone's comfortable enough to be themselves. And I think when you're in a space or in an environment that you're comfortable um, and then you can play mm. your best footy because you you enjoy coming in, you enjoy what you do, and it's not a chore, it's um, a place that you want to get to. What's Noddy like as a coach, Kez? You've had plenty of coaches in your time. How does he compare? What type of style of coach is he? He 
is a I don't say he's a big softy, but like mm. he's so knowledgeable and the way he talks to all the girls and explains and breaks everything down. He he's very patient and he um, if we're training and you know we'll be going through a few things and if we do it wrong, he'll just stop us and talk us through it and really break it down so we understand and we go again. So he's got that level of, yeah, that patience but understanding but he's also, if he needs to be stern, he'll be stern. But um, I think he's one of the best coaches that I've ever had. He's um, just the way he carries himself and the way he, you know, uses the other staff as well. We've got a really great staff, um, really great coaches that surround him as well he's done really well on on selecting great staff as Mm. well as great um players and i just think that um yeah we'd definitely be able to go to that next level this year with the new recruits Mm. that we've come through and the girls have been working really really hard from last year to now just the athleticism of them and how hard they've been working behind the scenes leading into um this year as well you both said on, on when I chatted to you on the at the launch on board all occasion cruises that we are better prepared than last year. Where are we more? Where do you think we've improved in that area? Why are we more prepared? Do you think individually? I think we've just gone. Like obviously, we're a bit a lot better from last year from the run of last physically, year. Are we talking physically, physically, yeah. I yeah, mean, me our, our, yeah, our, just how they're physically prepared, mm. more stronger, more fitter. Um, yeah, and you guys had played NRLW before, so you knew what to sort of expect. But a lot of those girls had never. Yeah, there was a lot of girls that hadn't yeah. played NRL like, at that level um, ever. Mm. So I think the whole load it takes on you mentally, and what the standard is, and what is expected of you every week, not just playing one game really good and then the next game being like a bit mm. cruisy. I think there's a, it takes a lot to be able to play really well for nine rounds um, compared to what we would do in Harvey. So I think mentally everyone knows what's what to expect and they know the standard that they need to be at in their positions mm. to play well and do do good things for the rest of us. Really looking forward to the season. Like And, yeah, you won those first couple of games last year, but a lot of the games that you lost but were just by tiny margins mm. and, and late tries against you. So... Um, Good luck with the new season. Can't Thank wait. You. Can't Thank wait. You. Real quickly, right? We're running a little bit out of time. Uh, questions from the crowd, aka Q from the Sea. Q from the Sea. Yeah, like that. And you can do this, by the way. Keep on uh, at our socials, West Tigers BTR. That's the Instagram handle. Um, you can watch us on YouTube as well. Make sure you um, subscribe. Just hit that the bell icon, and you'll never miss uh, an episode of BTR. Right. Uh, this is from Lockie McIntyre. Who do you think will be the first? Female immortal. Oh, lucky. Yeah. Well, Kezi, is immortals have to be old or they don't have to be old? Because <laughs> Kezi's close. Oh, <laughs> I she's calling me old. Immortal. Well, I think that's going to, yeah. Well, you've got like to be a in Karen the Murphy? Karen, or, yeah. Oh, like yeah, a Katrina up. Fanny? Yeah. Like, is it how, when is your, like, you have to Do be retired current, for a certain time? Let's, Kezi, let's throw a Kezi apps in there. Yeah. I'm still playing. Well, I know you're guys. still playing, but it, yeah, um, down the track. What is there in the game that you're having to cheat? Yeah, exactly. yeah, premiership. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's probably oh. major. One. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> no. it's us this year. Yeah, manifest it. Yeah, happy like into I can existence. See it. Yep. Yeah, lock Sorry? it in. Yeah, me too. Uh, this is in the quiz. Question two. Question two. Uh, uh, this is a uh, question from the crowd. Jacob uh, Todenford, I think it is Todenford. Who is the loudest at training? Uh, Tyra. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tara's loud, but she's so much. Tara Anki, the new, new yeah. yeah, she's a very big personality. <clears throat> yeah, join us. Oh, actually, Up fun fa- fun fact about Tara: she won on Australia Day <laughs> a lamington eating competition. True, fifteen in a minute. So yeah. if anyone wants to I test, love we're gonna yeah. um, we're, we're gonna, gonna recreate it. In. Fifteen in a minute. Are they 15. the sort of little lamingtons or are they the bigger ones? Uh, I, don't oh, I don't know. Yeah, actually, don't we need to have a clarification on that. We'll go try that again. Coconut gets stuck everywhere, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm. A bit dry. Yeah, yeah. Straight down there. But yeah, she's uh, yeah. she's really great about it. She's Tara. always got a smile on her face. Yeah, she's Former so power cool. lifter too. Yeah. If you watch her in the gym too, she yeah. like has this real pretty face that she does on this certain um, like part of the squat when she's coming up and she reckons that was from powerlifting. She had to look cute every time she oh, right. lifted because that's when the photos come out. With a mouthful of lamingtons as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it. That's her pre-game. I'm just picturing uh, it. Also, Ebony snack. Barks at training. <laughs> Ebony does. Pryor. Yes. She's a bit of a character. She barks. Little Yeah. She barks. Barks. 
If someone's kicking Give us a, your butt, like, she's that little hand dog. Oh, like it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got weird. a roar? Can you give us a roar? We give you a roar. Yeah. Or she give you. A, do your best roar. You do. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a creepy one. Was it furry? <laughs> Righto. Um, Big T asks you this oh, question. Big T, shout out to Big T. He does some great things for the club. Do you know who Big T is? Is it the biggest? Team? I don't know. There could be loads of Big oh, T's. No, nah, there's this one fella, Big T. He's really cool. He like comes. Okay, well, this stuff. is Big He's T. He's like a major fan. So shout out. Okay, to this is shout out to Big T. Um, your lawn bowling, your lawn bowling. Which teammate are you taking to get the W? Lawn bowls. You go lawn bowling. Which teammate will you Pretty take good. if you need are you to good win? At lawn My dad lawn bowls. Can you lawn bowl? I don't even think it's a little bit low for me to get down. Mm. Bend the bend the knees. Mm. Lawn bowls, uh, but I don't mind lawn bowls. I don't mind lawn yeah. bowls. My kids like lawn bowls. Yeah. We don't do it very often. Mm. Maybe someone lower to the ground. Yeah, even Sulla. <laughs> Sulla. They've <laughs> 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 got power. Sulla's got power. Yeah, well, maybe too much power. I don't think there are any shorter girls in the competition. Yeah, we then do us. have a pretty short team, don't mm. we? No, but Ebony. Oh yeah, no, yeah, she's definitely yeah. shortest. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a live wire. <laughs> like, uh, but I don't think Sulla's but much she's aggressive. taller than Ebony. She is. I don't. But she's like a powerhouse. So. Brave as. Like, doesn't matter how big they are. She'll throw mm. throw her body into it. Uh, Troy Maguire asks you this. Um, Kezi yep. Axe Apps. They call you Axe. Yeah. We had um, a conversation on the weekend, actually. Who is the hardest? No, he, he just decided to. Axe. Yeah, give me Axe Nick. as a Nick uh, Trevor. nickname. Trevor. Trevor. Big Trev. Your master. He was the Axe, the original Axe. Axe 2.0. Yeah, Axe 2.0. Uh, question, who is the hardest player to tackle in the NRL? Salah. <laughs> Salah. Oh my God. Teammate Salah. Yeah, definitely Salah. I reckon. Every time we do like contact or like wrestle, you avoid Salah. Avoid Salah. Yeah. Dog a turkey. So powerful. Yeah. yeah. And good te- great technique. Yeah. Great technique. And she's got the greatest footwork too. Gr- so explosive. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and finally, uh, Nicola Weber. Oh, Tess V. Bo. In a race, oh, Tess who wins? Me. Tess. Did she? Yeah, she'll smoke me. Who's the quickest in the team? Rick. Rick? Oh, Claude. Claude New- Claudia Nelson. She's pretty quick. She's pretty quick. Yeah, we Rick's should have a running race. Yeah, you're pretty quick too. Okay, give me, give me like fifty yeah. meters, yeah. sixty meters. Over I'm fifty, you reckon you got them? No. Oh. I reckon you'll be. Close. But I it takes me a little while to get going. Mm. Well, not you, off the mark Rick off you the get mark those Holy dooly Yeah Rick is just so, R- so explosive quick. Powerful yeah. and explosive Isn't she Yeah, have a race. Have a race. yeah We, we have, have to have a race. race Maybe you guys can put some money on it And we'll race for it <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got it I don't even think I'm in the question anymore <laughs> Yeah Alright well thanks again To everyone that sent those questions We got stacks by the way Thanks We everybody. did actually get um, Will you marry me Kez Will you marry me Kez you guys got to get in line. Craigie baby's at the front. <laughs> got to get in line for that, <laughs> been guy. waiting for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, thank you uh, to everyone that sent through their questions. Questions from the crowd, Q from the Sea. Um, we can't include them all the time or all of those questions. But we will be giving away, as we promised, uh, two family passes to the NRLW, the first game of the season against the Raiders on 28th of uh, July at Campbelltown Sports Stadium. Kickoff is 1.45pm to the two best questions. You girls have got to... Give me who they you reckon they were. You go first. Um, I reckon the immortal question. So Lockie. Lockie, immortal, gotcha. Shout Lock out. that in. Shout out to Lockie. Family pass to Lockie. And I'm gonna say Nicola's question around mm. um Spoken Yeah, you and Bo, Bo and Tess in a race. Nicola and Lockie. All right, a family pass will be uh, winging its way to you very, very soon. Tables, ladders, chairs. PWA Black Label takes over the Factory Theatre Marrickville on Friday, 2nd of August. Featuring a six wrestler, table, ladders, chairs match. Get your tickets now on prowrestlingaustralia.com.au. You know what time it is now, don't you? Quiz time. Quiz time. Well, we call it... Buckle time. Turnbuckle time, turn Bowie. Time. Turn. It is turnbuckle time. So turnbuckle time. Okay, there are six questions, four points each. Six okay, times four is six Can times four is what? Twenty-four. 20. Thank you. Plus one. Twenty-five. It, okay. 21. Twenty-five. <laughs> wow. Twenty-five. Yeah. I was in max number one. At there's six school. questions well, plus a bonus. Okay. Max score is but twenty-five. <laughs> okay, you got it. So I didn't you know. got friends now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. Yep. Yep. Sorry, we're ready. Girls, Wait, what's I our need buzzer? Your full attention. Sorry, Kezi. Your buzzer. Yes. Your names are your buzzer. Kezi. And you have to. Bo. Okay, hold on. Well, let's do a sample, right? Yep. Let's do a sample. Question, right? So this is just 
this is not a real one, right? Uh, name one item in the product range of West Tigers NRLW sponsor. Bo, uh, sorry, Bo. my name's Bo. You didn't even finish the question. You got to wait till you finish. Oh, sorry, finish the question, and I'm still no. take my bag. Okay, okay. Um, a product that's in the shop. Downstairs you didn't even listen. He didn't no, even you didn't listen to the didn't question. To okay, well, I said no. You're out, Kez. You get to answer this. Name one item in the product range of West Tigers NRLW sponsor Georgie Main. Oh. <laughs> He's got his um, repair shampoo. Correct. Thank you. Four points to you. You could have said anti-frizz serum, repair and hydrate conditioner, 10-minute hair, hair mask, serum. or I hair love growth the, spray. I love the 10-minute masks. We've got purple hair shampoo, no, purple bad luck. You, you went too you early on that the was, buzzer. That you was a test. Thank you, Georgie Main, by the way. Thank you, Georgie Main. Okay, you me. ready for... Is this the real stuff? or was yeah, that, that, that was part of it. No, that was a test. No, it wasn't. You said it was a test. I'm winning. I didn't say it was a test. I said it was a test. See? Yes. So now it goes from okay, there. Go. Okay, This is Hold for real on. now. Okay. Are you Wait, ready? So we can't buzz until you finish the well, question. Otherwise, of course, you otherwise you might get the wrong answer. Because okay. you thought he was going to say merchandise. Yeah, Have sorry. you played quizzes before? No. Nah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. I don't like this pressure. Yeah, same. I'm sweating. Oh, come on, the boys could do it. Well, the boys are boy schmoys. Question one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry. Okay. The boys are better behaved. Question one. Boring. Can you name the two Wests Tigers players, so NRLW and NRL, who scored the clubs? Bo, 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 me and Scando. Who Bo scored Teal the clubs' well. very first tries? And Bo John Scandalous. She said and me. And John Scandalous. Yeah, me. No, you didn't say actual name. Yeah, I did. Four points. You yes. keep an Italian this time. I'm on you the board. The Stop question. arguing, keep up. You go to the referee's whistle. Four points, Bo. Question two. That first game last year against the Eels, that you won. Can you tell me the full time score? Bang, Bo. Bo. Sorry, <laughs> that's right, Bo. Bo, um, thirty six eight. Correct. Yes. Bo's on eight. <laughs> come back, Kes. Come sorry, on, come I'm back, sorry Kes. For the language. That's right. We can beat that. You got to get your buzzer ready. I'm ready. Oh. Question three, and I'm going to take the closest answer here. Okay. Okay. Bo, your try. The first try. Bang. Uh, Six minutes fifteen. Go, Kizzy. You have a you have a crack. In what minute was it scored? How did, did you see these? No, I just knew where it was going. Correct. What was it six fifteen? In the sixth minute. Oh, in the sixth on minute. twelve. Oh, you should have. You're gonna have, have to get all three of these. Six twelve was it? In the sixth minute, yeah. Okay. You're on twelve. You're well, really she likes I'm, it. I'm <laughs> throwing in the towel. Is your buzzer working, Kizzy? No. Okay. I keep saying bang now, my all name. right. <laughs> this one's a little tricky. Okay. You might need some think music for it. Of the 29 players in our full NRLW squad in 2024, mm -hmm. yep. so that includes our dev players, how many girls... Buzz, 27. 21. Finish the question. Debuted. Debuted in NRL club. W. No, but your <laughs> answer's right anyway. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What was the question? <laughs> Question. Shall I finish the question? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah, I think that's disqualified because you no, said not. Yeah, he's, he's she got the, the right ball. answer. I don't care how she got there. Okay. Did you read the question? No. Four points to you. Shall I finish the question? Yeah, yeah, okay. Of the 29 girls, how many girls have a different Christian name? Oh. <laughs> Christian name? Your first name. Really like Bo, oh. Kezi. Wow, wow. Girl. Thank you. You've only got two girls with the same name, Claudia Nielsen and Claudia Brown. Wow. We have two Cheyennes. Quirky fact. <laughs> Well done. Thank you, you got the answer. 27. I thought it was how many girls debuted. You're the club. kidding me. Oh, it's not 27. It's 21. I can't remember. No, it was just two less from what you're we were on four. You're on 12. Oh, the the, yeah, Let's go. Me. Come yeah, on. Yeah, quick yeah. game's a good yeah, game. Sorry. That's how I got that answer. Okay, so again, I'm going to question five. I'll take the closest answer here. How many first grade games did your coach Brett come on? Bang. With? Me, Bo. Um, 273. Is that your final answer? Oh, yeah. Oh, Bo, your chance to take the points. No, if you can Bo? get closer. Oh, Kez, that's, oh, Kez, that's you. Is you're, it you're higher Bo. or lower? Nah, nah, no. I'm not no, telling yeah, you that. No, uh, you need to steal these points. You're on four, two, you're on 12. 42. What did you say? 272. Oh, Kez. What? 307. I was going to go three. Oh. I was going to go three. Oh, I was, I was you get him. Yes. That's so pretty much game, set, match. Let's get the last question. Okay. Question six. I need the opposition, the date, the venue, and the kickoff time. For West Tigers first NRLW. Bang, like Kezzy. But Kezzy. I said no, you said ah. bang. Kezzy. And my buzzer was louder. Kezzy. Sorry. Campbelltown Stadium. 
against the Raiders. Yep. 12.30. Carry on, though. Can I have a turn to, like, come back? Go carry on. What's the yeah. next question? One forty-five. No, it was my turn to nah, then to say it. it. What was the qu- I forget the rest of the question. Raiders, first NRLW yeah, game Yeah, I said Raiders. I said Campbelltown. Oh. You've already won, Bowie. Yeah, but I wanted to win. Bonus win. question. Ooh. Okay, go. Bonus question. Yeah. You're on 12. Now, what do you want? Um, 12. Three times four. You're on 12, yep. You're on One. four. I'm going to make this worth eight points. No, yeah. I already won. No. Yeah. I will get oh, no, because you might win. And then, oh, this no, is a car, a car, by the way. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about cars. No, you win a car. Oh, hey. Whoever wins this quiz is in the running to win the car. Okay, go. A real car? We haven't got it yet. Okay. Oh. Still waiting. Go. Okay, this is worth eight points. This is to draw. Kez? No one likes to draw. I already won. Oh, God. I don't have to say about her. Which <laughs> West Tigers <laughs> player will make his... 50th NRL appearance. Bang! On- Bo! Fanua Polly. Correct. Do you know how I know? Because, oh, actually, no, I won't say because it's a surprise. Well done. Thank you. Congrats. Well, well done, Bowie. Thank you. Thank My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Sorry. Come here, Kez. Sweetie. Any more questions? All right. Well, girls, again, thanks for jumping in. Um, great to have a, a chat with you two larrikins. Uh, good luck this weekend uh, in Brisbane, uh, that Thank trial you. match against the Broncos. Uh, to our NRLW, uh, NRL, our NRL team, good luck against the Sharkies on Friday night. Random question. Did you know, here's another quiz question oh, yeah. for you. When was the last time we beat the Sharks twice Bang. in the one oh, season? Okay. No, last know. year. Last year? No, nah, like maybe 2005. It was when you made your New South Wales debut. 2014. Ooh, 2014. 2014. There you go. Good luck, fellas, at Shark Park on uh, on Friday night. To our Harvey Norman girls, uh, good luck to you this weekend as well. Jersey Flag and the New South Wales Cup. Uh, we will do it all again here on Behind the Raw. Same time, same place next week. Until then, show your stripes. Behind the Raw, the official podcast of West Tigers.